Sources tell us that dripping water landing on the hot furnace triggered this explosion. OSHA is now investigating after an explosion and fire at the, and the casualties from Saturday's explosion are worse than we were initially told. A number of the wounded are still receiving medical treatment today. They had 130 tons of steel inside that furnace at max temperature. So they had, it sounds like a cooling system failure, which is how water was introduced, which a spokesman for the plant tells us water was thrown into an electric arc furnace, causing the explosion. Seven employees were hurt. That plant is shut down until the investigation. There is no way I would ever consider going back to, to tubular. There's just too much risk versus reward for tubular versus spray cool to my opinion. In the environment we're in now, it's get to the point where we're going to have to get away from a pressurized system just for safety and uh, downtime issues. It's, an, it's inevitable. Spray cool technology for electric arc furnaces, where we are now in over 21 countries in over 100 steel mills, keeping them safe. The whole point of our spray cool technology is to remove the high pressure water away from the furnace to reduce explosions and keep people safer, while also making a cooling system for the furnace that lasts longer. And due to our technology and how we build slag, we keep more heat in the furnace, making it a greener, safer operation. With over 80 patents worldwide, Systems Spray Cool Technology is the safest, most reliable cooling method on the market for melt shops with the lowest total cost of ownership. But how does it work? First, thousands of water droplets are sprayed in a cone pattern at atmospheric pressure, cooling the backside of the hot face through heat transfer using water droplet impingement. The patented cone pattern hits the hot face at an angle, creating a flushing effect. As they cascade down, they cool the hot face using slag to form on the interior, providing insulation and protection. Spray droplets constantly penetrate the cascading water to provide a fresh cooling effect. Enough water cascades down that there is no chance of evaporation, meaning no scale buildup. The more and smaller drops of water improve cooling efficiency, which provides a cooler surface for freezing slag. This combined with our proprietary slag retention system allows for a better slag coverage that protects your equipment and conserves energy by keeping more of the heat in the furnace. Typical tubular equipment operating at 60 PSI, if you have a two square inch hole, will put around 16,000 gallons per hour of water into the furnace or about 266 gallons a minute. By comparison, spray cold equipment operating at six gallons per minute per square foot, which is a fairly high number, will put about five gallons an hour into the furnace or about eight ounces a minute. Comparison really is more of the difference of a swimming pool versus a five gallon bucket. So the potential for steam explosions is drastically reduced. In addition to the reduced risk of steam explosions, some of the other safety benefits are the ability to repair the equipment from outside the furnace, so you're not having to put your people in harm's way. This also results in increased uptime and lower maintenance cost. System Spray Cooled has been making melt shops safer for 38 years. A lot has changed in steel making since then. Furnaces keep getting bigger, the demand raised higher, and as the industry evolved, we evolved with it.
system spray cooled, our mission has stayed the same. Making Melt Shop safer so when you show up for work, you can go home to more moments like this. System spray cooled. The safer alternative to pressurized water cooling.